Uh, I'm actually almost winning by fours. Yeah, it's game over. Can I get the dub? It's gonna be 142. So let's let's open this up. 142. Let's get rolling. Let's let's start let's start our tricks only speed run. Okay, let's play uh let's play E4. This is the main thing that we have. Let me um one second. Let me make sure I have the score right. It looks correct. Okay. I'm gonna play a hillbilly. We don't have we don't have a set gambit against this or a, or a set trick, but we're gonna play a hillbilly. Let me refresh it so that the, the animations show up correctly. Go knight c3, hit the pawn. Okay, let's see. Let's play F3. I can take with the queen, but I'm going to take with the knight castle. Maybe play D4. As old as time, 50 years. Yeah. I know, 50 years. That's the history. That's that's how long there's history for, right? Just 50 years. No queen E2, bishop F4. I think I can play maybe knight H4 here. I want to do something aggressive. I think I'll go here and maybe bishop G5 next move. Uh, probably no sub games today. No, pro probably not today. We'll we'll do sub games next week though for sure. Okay, Bishop E7. I really want to sack some material. I'm gonna gambit a pawn here. Let's see if he takes it or not. Okay, let's go King H1. What is the name of the board? I believe it's purple. It's purple with uh, what is it? It's uh, it's purple with um neo, purple purple board neo pieces. Can play knight f seven? I mean, I just have so much counter player in the center of the board. It's it's insane. Am I streaming tomorrow? No, you guys. I will not be streaming tomorrow or on Sunday. Uh, tomorrow is my grandmother's, I believe, eighty seventh birthday, if I'm not mistaken. I believe it's it's her eighty seventh birthday. So I will not be streaming. I'll be in the Mojave Desert. So. Y'all know where to find me if you're in the Mojave Desert. Uh, but I will say, if you are in the Mojave Desert, uh, be careful. It's really, really hot out there right now. I think it's supposed to be like 110 degrees tomorrow uh, Fahrenheit, which is somewhere in the 40s, I believe, Celsius. So it's going to be very, uh, very, uh, it's going to be very hot and sticky and, and just gross. Yeah. I uh, think you to code CO2 Andy for the three bucks. Oh yeah, the human benchmark. Yeah, you guys wanted me to do human benchmark. What, how many of is there something that changed it? Because I know I did a benchmark before, and there were, everybody was like, I saw, I saw my, I saw Wardell was, uh, was doing, was doing human benchmark. It seemed like everyone was suddenly doing it after XQC did it the other day. So did something change or not? Let's just go. I'm gonna go here and line up some tricks. Okay, I mean, this looks very bad for my opponent. He might be okay if he takes, but look, it looks bad. What is the human benchmark? It's um, it's a uh, it's 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 an online series of tests. I could do I could do like one or two of those, but not at the moment. We'll do those a little bit later. Do I give personal lessons? No, I don't. But uh, but I will say whenever I do these things where like I play people and actually, you know, I want to add one thing. So you'll probably notice in the videos that like I asked, the, I asked uh, like Mike or, or Carlini or these guys, like if they wanted me to play a specific opening. And the reason that I asked them that um, was not to flex. I know a lot of people are, oh, like you're just, it's like, oh, you're flexing, man. You're showing you can play any opening, you know, Pago, 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 whatever. Um, but the actual reason for that is uh, when you do that, it's to give them a chance like you know a lot of players at the lower level they study specific openings they don't have a broad like universal repertoire across the board so most of the time like the wait a second i gotta be how do i win this i think i just take i go here and mate him 
Faye can go here and mate. I'm just going to sauce him on the H file. Checkmate. It's another win. 131. But the reason I do that is so that is so that players have a chance where like they can ask you to play a certain opening and they can get something out of it versus simply say just losing and not having any and not learning something from the game. How does it feel to win 95% of your games online? Um, I mean, I guess it feels good. Okay, let's go for some Jerome's. Uh, how do I do a Gam? I guess I'll play a Gam, but H6 is a little bit dubious here. Let's go here. We're going to win this game too, since my man doesn't... He, he's too afraid of my trick, so he just he just gave me the entire center. So we're going to win this game. Let's just take... I can go Queen B3. I think I'm just going to keep building my center, though. It looks very, very happy. I mean, now I just take with a Queen... I'm just going to castle this way. I control the center. This is all that matters. Let's go here in G4, maybe. Do I think Chicago has a chess scene at all? Not really. Um, I mean, I think the biggest chess scenes by far are in New York. Uh, I mean, it depends in, in what regard that is. I mean, it's, it's very sad to me that there isn't a bigger chess scene out here in LA. But I mean, I guess it makes sense. Places that generally have very good weather uh, don't don't have big chess scenes. Because chess is generally a game that's played indoors. Um and so it's just, yeah, chess just isn't, isn't big in a place that have good weather. Dubov is going to lose 10 points for a draw in tomorrow's rapid event. Yeah, like it's very unpleasant, like for Dubov to be playing someone who's like 1800. Like it's just a very, um, well, I do a US tour like Bobby. I've actually thought about that, but it requires a lot of logistics. Um, I have thought about doing that. That was something I thought about doing like 20, 2019, 2018, 2019, doing like a, a tour of simuls around the United States of America. Um, so let's go here. Knight c6, maybe. It is something I thought about, but I don't know how, how where you're going to get, um, I don't, I don't know. Um, why am I smiling so much? I'm smiling so much at, at, when you guys talk about do out losing points because of the sheer absurdity. Like I remember when that happened to me and it's just like, it's so disgusting when like you have to play against someone who that's not their, that's not their correct rating at all. It's just, it's gross. It's a gross feeling. And I know that personally, like, it's just, it's very gross. It's just nasty. Um, just take and go rook c1 yeah because i've had it happen to me and it's just it's disgusting it's disgusting it's not a good feeling okay let's go check and take the queen i was watching your stream yesterday at one and, and i forgot to turn off before the stream before sleeping so now i have ak nice oh don't worry i mean i had it to me when i played practice on it's not it's not like some revolutionary thing uh let's go here okay uh which one do i want to play I, I can play i mean i want to stick to gambits here it's like you're doing the same things to your opponent yeah but it's much nastier when it happens than over the board because in over the board chess your ratings are the ratings are supposed to be correctly adjusted so it's very nasty when that happens dubov just wins and no problem yeah i mean he could but Gook, but the point is that gukash is not 1700 or 1800 or whatever the rating is that's not that's not what his rating is And, and that's also that's also the sick thing is that like let's just say let's say Gukesh, uh let's say let's just say they draw two games like Dubov is gonna basically lose like 20 spots in his uh his world ranking or something like it's it's pretty disgusting okay let's go here uh I think I think Ali Reza confirmed that he's working with Magnus oh really interesting okay let's go knight g4 hit the pawn in h2 Also, you guys, just to be clear, even though I'm not streaming tomorrow, um, uh, Alex, Alex uh, Astana and Fiona Stale and Tony, they will be covering the World Cup on my channel. So there will be live coverage of the event on my channel tomorrow, even if I'm not, even if I'm not streaming it. Let's just take the juicer. Uh oh. Keep going. Uh, let's keep going with d5 do i return monday of course i do yeah i'm just taking the weekends off but i stream i stream five the other five days they aren't as entertaining well you know i would say there's a you know i would say you have a certain responsibility to try and give back as well like there, there are a lot of there are a lot of streamers trying to make a living trying to stream chess and and make a go of it and i think when you when you have the biggest chess channel you have a certain obligation as well to try and help out the category it's not solely about your own personal goals or those sorts of things thank you to Chexy for the rave 214 thank you so much appreciate it 
so i mean you, you guys can say that but there, but there are a lot of there are a lot of people who um who are trying to stream chess and uh you know i think the the, the people who watch on twitch the, the community that we have here there are there are a lot of great people and i think you know having the opportunity to promote other channels and give back is very important as well it's not solely about um it's not solely about like just your your, your own personal goals you get alpine alpine starkey for the six months thank you so much noblesse oblige yes very very important term that is one of the greatest things about america or is it oblige or is it oblige it's it's oblige i think because it's o-b-l-i-g-e do i get mentally exhausted playing chess for a long time not so much no okay how many wins do we have here let me see we have um I maybe sack my queen, go for the big cheese, but I don't trust in it enough, so I'm just gonna go here. It's obli oh, it is obligé. Okay, so I am right. It is it is obligé. I wasn't sure. Yeah. Okay, so I take. That's what I thought it might be. I just wasn't sure. I got the French right. Yeah. Why do you think players lose their potential when they get old? Um. By the way, how many wins do we? Uh, that's a Botez Gambit. Um, let's go here. We're at 133. We're going to win this game too. So we will be at 134 after this one. Because we have a week, because we have an extra queen, we're going to win. You get the effects with arcade mode. That's how you get it. Uh, let's just go here. How many more videos on Coffee Chess will be released? They're too funny. I think we have one or two more. I think it's one more if I'm not mistaken. Um let's just go here and hit the rook um I guess I'll just take the pawn tricks means basically you play you go for the big cheese whether it's a gambit whether it's like whether it's a gambit whether it's a bad opening you try you try to uh win quickly uh why don't I why don't I tra trash talk um these guys are saying why don't I trash talk them it's I mean it's not appropriate it's not appropriate I would say that like trash talk it's good to some degree at certain levels but like I don't need I don't need to do that like it's I, I feel I mean again you guys can say whatever you want but I feel like that's a little bit beneath me to do that like I mean I, I, I I'm gonna win most likely like it's just it's not it's not it's not necessary it's, it's really just not 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 appropriate in my opinion like I don't know you guys can disagree with me, but I, I just, I don't think it's appropriate. I really don't think it's appropriate. Plain and simple. So that's what I would say. <laughs> but yeah, but what I would say is like when, when Mike does it, it's good. Like it's in good fun. It's, it's in good spirit, but like it's much different. Cause like he, he is the underdog. He most likely is going to lose the game. So like it adds to the, to the spirit of, but like, if I do that, it's just like, I don't know it's like I'm I'm really like I'm I'm just like kind of like uh I don't know it's like it just I don't know it doesn't it feels a little bit classless because I'm I'm gonna I'm most likely gonna win the game now if I was playing Magnus then it then it would be fun yeah it's just yeah it's mean spirited because like we know like with 90 percent certainty I'm gonna win the game or more so it's like if I do that it's just like it's just like me being mean it's just it's just not right a uh, rematch uh oh sorry I, I didn't mean, mean to hit rematch sorry I hit rematch not new game uh let's play this old line this was played by uh okay well i'll take that it's a speed run so i'll take a quick win yeah thank, thank you to big aristotle for the prime let's just keep going with e4 yeah at the lower levels of course i think i think it's a much different it's a much different playing field though that's what i would say it's a much different playing field plain and simple let's go d4 and c3 take the pawn and take did I see the all runs a handshake I did see that yeah that's a good move potentially but I can still guard everything here everything's still holding do I think my quality of play decreases not if I don't do it not if I if I were to do only this I think at some point it would I feel uncomfortable doing trash talk no I mean when I was younger I could totally trash talk uh easily but I would say that I mean at a certain point it's like I don't know it's you grow out of these sorts of things too uh I'm gonna go here and put pressure on the diagonal as well I think it's shred arts for the prime appreciate it. let's go queen a4 here line up this uh classic pin it's also a right triangle of course 
Uh, are you allowed to trash talk OTP? No, you're not allowed to. No, you can't do that. Tawny trash talk, trash talk Botez so hard? Yeah. No, I mean, of course. But I guarantee if I play Tawny, he, he might try, but Tawny would also need to focus on the game a bit more. So he wouldn't be able to just try and trash talk me in that way. And also, you know what else? Tawny's 10 years old. It's much different. When you're 10 years old and you're just like, it's just, it's just a much different thing. Um... Go check. Maybe I go queen c4. Yeah. Like it's much, much different. Oh dear. Let's check, man. Let's keep going. I think every game in this one, every game I have to play e4 pretty much. Uh, let's keep going with this. Thank you to Don Alberto for the 14. Let's play the Jerome Gambit. Go ahead with the Jerome. What are we at right now we're we're at um one six games so far it looks like so we've won six games so we're at 136 this would be game number seven we're playing the jerome gambit here named actually f4 is wrong i think queen f5 is the right move um named named in honor of jerome should a beginner learn how to play a gambit i there are a lot of gambits in e4 e5 i don't actually have a way to win so i'm just gonna take this as king this was actually a very poor oh dear and this is also why it's dangerous at the lower levels because like if someone hits you with a gambit like this and you don't know what you're doing you can just lose in like 10 moves yeah this is pretty bad you got Benaren for the five months. Thanks so much, Benaren. Um, let's just go here and hit the pawn, maybe. Okay, let's just develop maybe Bishop G5 next move. Uh, King F7 is a good move here. Uh, but actually, wait. Let's check. Trying to create some... Oh, that's a free knight. I th I mean, everything is kind of winning here. But I'm going to go knight d2 and g3. Maybe knight f3 and castles if I can. Like, I go if I get this and this, I'm just winning. Go here. Your trash talker mic video is already close to 1 million. Congrats. Yeah, I mean... I'm, I'm I'm just glad people enjoy the videos. That's all. I also ha there's also the Carlini video, which is which uh, which just dropped early this morning. If you guys haven't seen it, definitely check that out as well. We have we have one more video, one more, one more as well. And I'm gonna do something down the road, not not for a couple of weeks, maybe in like a month or so. But I have another I have another content idea as well that I plan on doing. How long was I there? It was probably about one hour. Um, it was a little over one hour. The last guy that I played against was good. Yeah, I think that was that was NM Carl, if I'm not mistaken. He's like, uh, audio is delayed. No, audio is not delayed. Audio is not delayed, is it? I don't think it's delayed, at least. I think I'm going to go here to hit the rook. Yeah. <laughs> 0 0.1 second delay true. The dude's internet is delayed? Possibly true. Stay hydrated? Yeah, I do stay hydrated. I stay hydrated with my fuel, you guys. Make sure to go make sure to check out make sure to go to G Fuel website. Check out uh check out G Fuel. We have code Hikaru. It's like I think 20 20 30 percent off. Um, if you do sell enough G Fuel, there are additional things. You can sometimes get like a shaker or a flavor or all kinds of other stuff. So it it's it does help the streamer a lot. Castle. Let's go Bishop D4 here to hit the rook. I have uh hit the pawn on G7. What is Carlini's rating? I think Carlini is stronger than Mike. I don't I think Carlini is probably about uh I want to say Carlini I'm guessing is like 1900 ish that's my guess I don't I didn't actually find out for I didn't actually ask most of them you look like you're hot you're sweaty oh I'm not but it's probably the lighting 
probably the lighting anyway um yeah i would guess carlini is probably 1900 i guess boss and mike is like 16 to 1700 is my guess somewhere in there but i, I didn't actually ask so i'm not 100 sure have i ever delivered a checkmate with the castles in a game no i have not you ever read the comments under your YouTube videos? So I see like sometimes I do, sometimes that's so that's one of my social media managers who does it. What do I like the most about the TSM facility? I like um Wow, I'm getting the same guy over and over. I think I hit new three minutes. Oh, I hit rematch. Okay. All right, I'm hitting the wrong button. Let me focus after this. Go here on E5 next move. Oh, Car Car Carlini's blitz is 2100. Okay. What's his, uh, what's his, uh, slow rating though? Or like game 30. Wasn't Carlini kind of helping Mike throughout the game? I didn't mind that. It's all good. The funny thing is like Carlini, like with Mike, it was actually good. But when, but when Carlini tried to help, like, uh, I think it was Dave, the, the Brooklyn Dave, the master guy, he actually was like hurting. It was hurting him more than it was helping him, which was pretty funny. So it's like Carlini, like for Mike, it was in many ways good, but for, um, but for uh but but for like for Dave or the others, it actually was like they were just like shut up, let us play the game, which is pretty funny. It was uh it was good stuff. Yeah. Um Let's go work D5 here. Oh, Cartlini has the FM title? Okay. Maybe for Mike, the pieces weren't good enough. Oh, right. We're going to, that's, that's going to be the running joke, isn't it? I, I'm going to need you guys to remind me before I go to St. Louis to play in the tournament to, to all, all, all the things that I need to say during my interviews when I'm in St. Louis, like, you know, like if I lose a game to blame, blame the, blame the chess set, if, um, you know, and, and all those other, all those other great excuses that I need to have ready and all the terms I need to use as well. Um, let's go to 94, maybe here. Yeah, the copium, yeah. Blame the internet connection, yes. <laughs> Go here. What do I think about Shanklin's chances if Fabiano drops out? Um Oh, Shanklin and Carwan are the only ones over twenty seven hundred in that bracket? Oh, I don't I don't know. Um no idea. Maurice won't get the inside jokes. No, probably he won't, but I'm still gonna drop them for sure. Don't, don't, don't forget about the, I don't care phrase. Oh yeah. Right. Yeah. I don't care about this tournament. Right. It's just, it's just chess. Um, something like that. Yeah. Yeah. No, I'm, I, I, I just need to remember what to do, but yeah. Okay. Let's keep going. Let's play E4 again. Can I play a scotch game? We're playing gambits primarily gambits and cheeses. So going to be hard. Yeah. I, I do need to remember. I didn't do need to remember some of those phrases because it's been a while now. We need camera Fleming for the prime. Let's keep going. My man is just uh, moving his queen. My pieces were different. Si oh my gosh. Am I trapping his queen here? This is so dangerous. Uh, I guess I'm not trapping his queen. Or maybe I... Um, I don't know. I, I've got... Look at all this development, though. I've got so much development here. He's got no development. He's got one piece in the game. This has to be losing. The coffee chest videos were recorded last weekend. It was one week ago, you guys. So it was last weekend. Um, F6 I can take. I mean, let's just go for more cheese. Let's just take. I mean, I'm assuming I have tricks here, like Bishop G5. I mean, I have the double ops. I'm getting my queen in. Maybe he can survive. Uh, actually, I don't think he can survive. His king is getting absolutely massacred here. Why don't I get the blue effects that you do with arcade? Arcade when you turn it on, just refresh. I think he's up like. Oh my gosh, this is getting worse and worse. This just gets worse and worse by the second. Yikes. Yeah, this will be 139. We'll do what we'll do one more and then I'm gonna take a break, I think. For a second and go use the restroom. Okay. So we're gonna we're 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 gonna we're gonna we're we're gonna win this one as well. Okay, uh 
let's play let's play e5 let's, let's do something a little bit different here but yeah all those videos were recorded last week and i plan to do something else okay let's play the uh blackburn shilling he ignores it okay good good man Okay, let's go d6 consolidate i mean this is actually very bad for white oh dear you got to go to new york now and hit the park the problem with me going to new york is not so much that i, ca I can't do it but the thing is like actually like people aren't just going to want to play probably it's a little bit different that that's that that's the one thing i would say like the, the players are like 22 2300 it's a little bit different in new york the uh sort of the the minds that they have like i remember the last time that i tried to actually do that it was it was quite a few years ago um and like no one would play me no one would play me so like it's yeah it's a little bit different for me uh why because actually they because the difference is they're too serious about themselves in new york that's why honestly that that's the difference like you know it, like with the coffee chess guys i mean they're they're just they're having a good time they got that whole west coast la you know they're they're just so chill but like in new york the, these guys who are trying to trying to like uh trying to um trying to like uh you know hustle and everything they have a much more serious attitude so it's it's a little bit different i'm gonna go h5 it's no good but i'm gonna do it seriously yeah yeah i'm actually i'm being serious yeah i'm not joking didn't botez easily beat these guys i mean there was the one guy who's about like 2100 ish it was what russian paul i think he's the one guy who's like about 2100 but the but the rest are um corn corn cornbread yeah I, I'm familiar with him but the thing is the best hustler unfortunately doesn't play there anymore anymore there's this hustler his name was Poe I think it was P.O. or P.O.E. and um and he was a hustler and he was actually about 2200 and I lost the game to him we we, we played in I think the New York Open in 1996 or 97 I'm not sure which year it was I think it was 90 I think it was 97 if I'm not mistaken I can't remember for sure but I think it was 1997 and um we played a long game which which ended in a draw and I think at that tournament or the year after I actually played him like one or two games for money my mom let me play for five bucks a game and I think we went one one if I remember correctly that's pretty funny no 97 no in 1997 I was uh I was nine years old <laughs> I was not 14. no it's a long time ago long long time ago make a queen rook h2 all right we got the dub let me stop the clock all right guys i'm taking my first break for the day and i'll be right back in a second we'll keep going and next game okay let's play the england gambit here show me show personal chef yeah they have a chef who makes food every day hmm okay let's go check hit the hit the uh, Bishop I think this is this someone is this a fan of the stream am I gonna sack my Queen here or not as a question I'm gonna sack my Queen mm-hmm No, it's very good. Food is always very good here at TSM. Okay, I think I'm gonna go here to hit the queen, maybe, and hit the rook. I'm actually losing in this opening, but whatever. Let's take the rook. Oh, that's a mistake. So now I take. Okay, let's go back. We'll just play G6 here. Does Hikaru stream play, listen to the songs, and talk all at the same time? Yes, you, yes, I do. You guys, I do. I'm able to do three things at once. 
That's what I do. Why, why wouldn't I be able to do that? I'm eating too, yeah. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Hey, a thirsty monster for the uh for the seven months thank you so much thirsty monster appreciate it he eats breathes he eats he breathes he plays chess he plays ads all all at the same time plays ads i like that that's a nice touch um go here hmm okay i have knight g3 I think I go here and here and I made him. Thank you to Cabbers. Cabbers got for the prime. Thank you so much. Yeah, he saw that I was trying to hang a rook. Yeah. I talked about the World Cup a little bit earlier. I'm going to go rookie eight and just checkmate him. King is stuck here. Why did Fabio not have to quarantine when he could have just taken a test? Uh, I thought if you're if you're in direct contact with someone who's COVID, you have to quarantine no matter what. No matter like what sport or what event or any of that stuff, I thought it's odd automatic. Like like if I if I hung out with someone who who had COVID, I think I, I think I'd basically be told I have to quarantine for 14 days. Like I, I don't think there are any exceptions. I think that's just like a hard set rule for everybody. Also, Fabiano was certainly tested negative. True, that's the other problem. Fabiano 100% tested negative the next day. England or Italy fan? I don't know. I mean, you, do you mean in terms of like, do you mean in terms of like soccer or what? I mean, I guess you have to mean in terms of soccer because like Italy's not very good at any other sport. UK has a lot of like other athletes who are really, really, really good. Play D4 here. I think I'm just going to develop my bishop here maybe. Okay, let's go queen d5 here. Thank you to Graham for the uh, for the gift of sub. Thanks so much to Graham. Appreciate it. Thank you. Let's just smash the center here. Let's just castle again. Massive center here for me. I've got a great build up here. And he's got like no development. Let's take and take. What are the people that said he tested positive Leiden were Magnus' henchmen? Okay, you guys are like... I mean, I appreciate I appreciate the sense of humor you have, but seriously, like, let, let's be serious. Don't you Americans play football with your hands? Football? Um, if you mean American football, yes. But you also kick. There are people like Adam Vinatieri who win all the Super Bowls, so it is it is football. Play Queen E4 here. You use your foot to kick the game-winning suit. Super Bowls usually come down to a field goal at the end of the game, so it's appropriately called football. Good shot. <laughs> you you kick once in a blue moon. <laughs> okay, let's take. Uh, I'm actually almost winning by fours. No, it's game over. Can I get the dub? It's gonna be 142, so let's let's open this up. 142. Just pre-move the next 40 games. Yeah, I'm hacking. Okay, how do I gambit here? Guess I'll play like King's Gambit, maybe. If I can, probably I can't. Oops, that's a blunder. We're gonna go for the big cheese. Go here. Let's go for a throbbing mate. 
Uh, maybe I get 96 here. Big problems. Uh oh. Big, big problems for my opponent. The Throbbing Maid is back. Exactly. Yep. Are those official names? Yes, you guys. Because we here, you know, we, we here at Chess, we, we've adopted the proper term terminology. Thank you to Wade Watts for the five months. Thank you so much to Wade Watts. Wade Watts. Happy Friday, you too, my man. Hope you're doing very, very well. The problem is Vitaki is this. Kind of annoying, but you know what? You guys are saying it's like Jim, he's already dead. So let's let's just let's let's be nice and play D3. <laughs> the castle. I guess I'll just develop my knight. Again, he's this jumbo pony is really good on E6. Uh, from the coffee chest crew who was the biggest challenge i think the biggest challenge was um was carl uh he, he was the, he was the guy who played the king's indian game against he was he's in master he was probably the 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 most challenging game i think i'll just play h3 here Looked like you, you looked like you all had a really fun time. Yeah, I mean it's all it's always fun to return to your roots. Cause I would say growing up in New York, uh a lot of my early development was playing like game game 30 events, the Marshall Chess Club, playing in the park. Like there was a lot of a lot of like in the style of hustling. So it, it, it harkens it sort of really harkens to my roots. Um it it, it uh it, it harkens back to like my, my the early days of my chess career. What's that? What coffee beans do you buy? I don't buy I don't buy coffee beans you guys I I uh I fuel up before every stream I use my G fuel you guys make sure to go to the G fuel website use code Hikari. you can get 20 to 30 percent off um when you order your fuel and you fuel up before your long streams before your day <laughs> I'm sorry literally everyone is like I, I I'm not trying to shill but you guys literally can't stop asking me questions that force me to uh force me to shill you guys literally can't help yourselves today <laughs> <laughs> three slash ten <laughs> yeah that's at three out of ten for g fuel today yeah okay let's go mission about five here ad block not helping yeah let's just take the one take the one on c2 uh i'm gonna castle my king here okay let's just go go back My fa what is my favorite energy drink? Yeah, you're you're waiting for me to to do it again. I know. What is my favorite energy drink? Yeah. Yeah, it's like oh yeah, let's add add four out of ten, right? <laughs> yeah, let's go back to G six here. Let's go King B seven. Best G fuel flavor, I think uh, for me it's probably PewDiePie or Guava. Those are my two favorites. Um, let's go Bishop B two just trade. I, I have an extra pawn here, so I'm doing very very well. Actually, let's go here and hit both pawns not red bull anymore oh it hasn't i mean I, I i will say this like red bull i think i've told the story before but they basically um they basically just thought that i was washed up as a chess player so like at the at the end of 2018 they kind of dropped me as one of their one of their athletes or, or one of their you know pr promoters they, they, they dropped me and um and so they, they dropped me at the end of uh at the end of like 20 2018 because they thought i was washed as a player and then I came back and won the U.S. Championship in 2019 as a big, you know, big F you to them. So, so yeah, that, that's all I need to say about Red Bull. Keep going. Let's play E4 here. The Knight of three. Okay, I guess I'll play, I'll play in a bridge, uh, bridge gambit here. Okay, I think I play here, Castle, and Rook D1. Or actually, maybe I, let's just go here and maybe Rook D1 next move. I think I just take. He can't take, so he loses the queen. Go here. <clears throat> just castles. Oh, the opponent doesn't get the opponent doesn't get the uh, doesn't get to see the uh, see the animations unless they have it enabled to. What coffee shop was I at in those YouTube videos you posted? I'm sorry, you guys, but I'm actually not at liberty to, to say that. Um, 
you know i i i mean i don't know if i should say this either but, but i'll just say it anyway uh but when, when i actually was when we we're trying to set this up and i was gonna i was gonna go and go and play against the guys you know to give you an example of how insane the internet can be at times though those guys basically what what i was told was that like they really are like please don't please don't say anything about the location anything like that because apparently uh because of some of their trash talk videos they've they've gotten death threats like i'm not joking like they, they they've gotten death threats over some of their youtube videos and and so like it's like it's just insane i mean welcome to the welcome to the internet just like casual guys i mean they're they're not pro players or anything just some casual guys playing chess and and like they, basically they're they're worried like because they've gotten death threats over some of their videos and it's just like i mean i mean maybe that's the world we live in but have i ever gotten death threats not directly no um but i would obviously go straight to the authorities if, if someone did that but yeah so that, that's just what i would say on the topic though thank you to spoolie boy for the five months 